In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Fantastico, which is a great way to install scripts. So you can see I'm logged into my control panel here. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Usually, you'll find Fantastico near the bottom. Somewhere software services. Now, here you'll also notice there are other things here, like you can install Agora Shopping Cart here automatically, or you can install WordPress automatically, or there's a thing called Simple Scripts. These are ways that you can install other scripts pretty easily. I'm going to show you Fantastico because it's very, very often. It's the most commonly found uh, script installer uh, in hosting accounts. When you get to Fantastico, on the left side, you're going to find tons of scripts that you can install automatically. So, we already installed WordPress. I showed you how to do that in the previous videos. But here are other blogs that you can install. Or, here are other systems that you can install for content management. Popular ones are Drupal and Joomla. Here are customer relationship things, so support ticket managers. Here are uh, forums, PHPBB and SMF. Or here are uh, shopping carts that you can install automatically, or billing, or image galleries, or photo galleries, polls, project management. Lots and lots of things that you can automatically install by clicking a few buttons. So, let's go install WordPress. Now, when you do this, uh, it's going to show you what installations of WordPress you've already done with Fantastico, uh, and then you can move on and, and install other things. So to start a new installation, you're going to click the New Installation. We're going to put it on the demo that I already set up and showed to you earlier. We're going to install it in the directory. We're going to leave the directory blank. We just wanted it to install it in the base directory. Now, I've already deleted the one that I showed you earlier in the other videos. We're going to create a username. And, I'm, and a password. And then we have to have a nickname. You would put your nickname in here. And then email address and site name and description. And click install WordPress. Now here, you're going to click finish installation. It tells you where you're going to find your, your site here. It's going to go through some stuff. And at this point, you're done. It has installed WordPress for you. So that took about four clicks. At this point, you can also go to the URL. And it's going to have you log in. There's the username and password I just created. And we can log into the site. Now we can visit the site and see we have it installed. So with that simple amount of work, you can install WordPress. Now you can install all those other softwares pretty similarly, uh, and, and Fantastical will do it for you.